Picture this, you're in Fortnite or Roblox and you earn V-Bucks or Robux. Pretty cool, right? But imagine if those coins weren't just stuck in the game. Imagine if you could use them to buy sneakers, pizza, or even a new iPhone in the real world. That's what Bitcoin is like. It's digital money, but it works everywhere for anything and no company can take it away from you. Today, I'm going to break Bitcoin down for you in a way that actually makes sense. No boring adult talk, just real life examples you already understand. So let's rewind. What even is money? At its core, money is just a tool we use to trade. Instead of swapping your sneakers for a video game, you use money because everybody agrees money has value but here's the thing our money like dollars is controlled by banks and governments they can print more of it they can freeze accounts and they can change the rules whenever they want imagine you saved up 100 tokens in Fortnite, and one day the game company just deleted half of them that's basically what inflation feels like with dollars you did all that work but now your tokens don't go as far if you're brand new to bitcoin hit subscribe now because I make beginner friendly videos like this every week to give you the complete roadmap one step at a time. So what makes Bitcoin different? Bitcoin flips the whole idea of money upside down. It's money, but it's not controlled by any bank, country, or company. Instead, it's run by computers and math on a giant network of people all around the world. That means no one can just print more Bitcoin and no one can delete your coins. Think of it like this. If dollars are like a teacher controlling the class, Bitcoin is like a group project where everyone checks each other's work so no one can cheat. So how does it actually work? Picture a giant notebook the world's biggest Google Doc that keeps track of every single Bitcoin transaction. But instead of one teacher controlling it, every single student in the world has a copy. If anyone tries to cheat, everybody else notices. And that notebook is called the blockchain. And to add a new page to it, computers have to solve super hard puzzles. This process is called mining. It's what keeps the system secure and fair. Think about Snapchat streaks. When you keep a streak, there's proof that you've sent snaps every day and everyone can see the fire emoji. Blockchain is like that. It's a public record that shows every transaction ever and nobody can fake it. Why is Bitcoin valuable? You might be asking, why does Bitcoin even have value? Well, it's the same reason that the Yeezys or the Pokemon cards or V-Bucks do because people believe in it. But here's the big twist. Only 21 million Bitcoin will ever exist. That's it forever. Imagine if Nike only made 21 million pairs of sneakers ever. Those sneakers will be insanely valuable because they're limited edition. That's Bitcoin. It's scarce and that scarcity makes it valuable. Think about Fortnite skins. Some skins are worth a lot just because they're rare and not everyone can have them. Bitcoin is like the ultimate rare skin. Only 21 million will ever exist and the whole world wants them. Now, you might be thinking, cool, but I can't even drive yet. Why should I care about Bitcoin? Well, here's why. The world is moving digital. People already use Apple Pay, Venmo, and Cash App. Bitcoin is like the next level of that money. Money that works on the internet without needing a bank account. Teens today are growing up in a world where your first paycheck, your allowance, maybe even your college tuition could be connected to Bitcoin. It's the future of money and learning it now puts you way ahead of the curve. But let's keep it real. Bitcoin isn't some magic money printer. Its price goes up and down like a roller coaster. Some people have made millions, but others have lost big. If you ever get into Bitcoin, rule number one, never invest more than you can afford to lose. Think of it like buying rare sneakers. It's cool if they go up in value, but not worth it if it means you can't pay for lunch. Let's compare Bitcoin to things you already know and use. Venmo, needs a bank, Bitcoin doesn't. Cash app, works in your country, Bitcoin works anywhere in the world. Roblox, Robux, or Fortnite, V-Bucks, you can only spend them in the game. Bitcoin is global money you can spend anywhere. It's like if your V-Bucks suddenly worked at Target or Amazon or Chipotle. That's the power of Bitcoin. And think about Minecraft or Roblox. My daughters love Roblox. You can build entire worlds, but technically the company owns them, not you. If the servers ever shut down, 
your world disappears. With Bitcoin, it's different. You actually own your coins and no company can delete them. Here's something deeper. In some countries, kids your age can't even open a bank account or their parents' money loses value overnight because of inflation. Bitcoin gives people a way to protect their money no matter where they live. That's why millions of people around the world use it, not just to make a profit, but to have freedom. Freedom to save, freedom to send money, freedom to take control of their future. Now imagine this, sending money to a friend in another country instantly with almost no fees or being able to save money without worrying about a bank freezing your account, even entire countries are starting to accept Bitcoin. It's kind of like TikTok. A dance trend starts small, but it spreads across the world almost instantly because everyone joins in. Bitcoin works the same way. The more people who join the network, the stronger and more valuable it becomes. This is like being alive when the internet was first invented. You're literally watching history happen in real time. So here's the takeaway. Bitcoin isn't just nerd money or some adult investment thing. It's the start of a brand new money system and you're growing up with it. If this video finally made Bitcoin click for you, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and share it with a friend who still thinks Bitcoin is confusing. And let me know in the comments, if you had one Bitcoin today worth a little over $100,000, what's the very first thing you'd do with it? Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.